everyone, it's Tyler with Diesel Laptops. I want to talk to you today and show you a little bit about the Texa tool from Diesel Laptops. So what we provide is a little bit different than every other Texa distributor out there, but let me go over some of the features and settings first, and then I'll show you kind of what's extra with what you get from us. So first of all, we're connected to this engine. It's working great. I see 169 parameters that are live on the engine. And you can double click any of these, and it'll give you like a little graph and chart and everything. Furthermore, you can go create little favorite groups if you want to. So I've got our favorite parameters. You'll see there's some default ones set up for some different categories. So a nice, easy way to kind of stay organized. You can also go to filter and you can create your own favorites and your own groups if you want to see only certain parameters. Very easy to do. And then we also have dashboards. Depending on the model of the engine and the year, you're going to have anywhere from one to five dashboards currently in here. So this is just showing you in a nice format what you can look at for this particular engine. So very nice, easy thing to read and see what's going on. So I will go back, and that's the short and dirty on the parameters, but let's talk about fault codes for a second. So with fault codes, uh, we have three inactive ones. They're yellow because they're inactive. If I go over here and click on any of these, you'll see it gives me the actual code number, 3748. Now the one kind of negative with Texa is there's not a lot of integrated repair information in it. So that's what people really miss when they buy it from someone else or look at a different solution is you really need that repair information because I got this code 3748, but what do I really do with it? And if I go over to ECU info tab and scroll down here a little bit, you can get an idea of what we have. We have a common CM2350. So on this particular customer's laptop, let's go over to DTC solutions. This is a program that's only made by diesel laptops. I'm gonna go over to Cummins and I'm gonna go down here to an ISX 15 CM2350. And now we have our list of codes and we have our OEM codes and we have our generic SAE codes, which are these PIDs, SPNs, and FMIs. So let's go back to our code and we had code 3748. So let's go back into here. We'll do 3748 and you can see it filters the list of what we're looking for and now we can see a bunch more information. I can click this little picture to get a picture of the exact circuit. I can read all about my code, and I go down to the very bottom, and it'll tell me down here impossible causes. Oops, sorry about that. Possible causes on what I need to do to fix that code. We also have wiring diagrams in here as well. So in this particular example, we have a wiring diagram built in the system that tells us everything about this code and the entire wiring on the particular engine. At the very end, you'll also see we have a chassis connector wiring for it as well. So a nice, quick, easy reference tool for you to get what you need to. For some other ECMs, we started adding in component locators. So there's only about 15 or 20 of them that are added currently, but I want to show you what they look like on the video, because probably by the time you're watching this, we'll have them all in the system. So in this particular engine, we have the component locator as well, which is, again, a nice PDF that's going to walk you through all the different sides of the engine and where all the components are located, including all the sensors. So it makes it nice, easy for you to find everything. So beyond fault codes, people want more information. I showed you the ECU info tab where it has the VIN number and the model and software level and all that. But activations and settings are really what sets this part, this tool apart from everybody else. So in this particular case, you can see I have all the tests that I could possibly need to run. Cylinder cutoff, cylinder performance test, uh, a whole bunch of variety of commands. Settings are where more of them are located. So the real common one people always want to run is I want to run my DPF filter regeneration. Let me go all the way back up to the top here and you'll see we have an after treatment filter reset, cruise control settings, all kinds of parameters and settings and switch settings and PTO settings. Uh, this particular engine, when you put a new injector in it, you have to reset the injectors from their previously learned values. So the command in there is to do that. The reset the knock sensor command is in there. Reset the oil service indicator light on the dash. All those commands that you're ever gonna get asked about, they're all in here, including the more popular VGT turbo actuator installation and calibration commands. So again, Texa multi-brand tool, gonna to cover pretty much everything that's out there for commercial vehicles, along with the commands and settings that you need to do. Wanted to give you a real quick overview. We haven't done some update videos in a while. Obviously, you can hear the shop noises in the background. We're in a shop. They're working here. 
But I really hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to contact us with any questions you have at all. Thank you for watching.